Hello everybody, welcome back to the Advanced Vape Channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dot RDA single coil RDA from Dot Mod. Uh, this is their new 22mm single coil RDA. Uh, they were nice enough to send this along to me along with the Dot Squonk to be able to use them together. Uh, that's not going to change my opinion uh, on the review. So, uh, before we get started I'll talk really quickly about what's in the box. We've got their certificate of authenticity instruction manual, warnings not to blow yourself up, uh, the little corked glass piece that's always included uh, in, in every kind of dot mod product. It's got your O-rings, your solid 510 pin, uh, some coils that I'm not going to use, and extra screws. Uh, you've got, uh, I'm guessing, acrylic uh, material top cap here with an Ultim drip tip screwdriver. Uh, this, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in a minute. This is a jig. And uh, they call this a beauty ring. Not really sure what the intention of this is for. It sits on the bottom here. I don't know if this is meant to be a spacer uh, or to protect the mod or the atomizer from getting messed up as you tighten it on, kind of to protect the paint. Uh, I haven't really used it. I'm not sure. It doesn't really seem necessary. So, here's the atomizer. It's anodized aluminum, uh, changeable 510 drip tip. It's got kind of a, an angular shape, like a vase sort of shape. Makes it easier to uh, pull the top cap off. Uh, this is a really small chamber, 22 millimeter single coil RDA. Two terminals, uh, airflow coming in through the side there on both sides. Squonk pin right in the middle. And posts here for your jig to sit in for coil positioning. So just like uh, the Pixie that I reviewed last and uh, the Pulse 22, it has those kind of notches to help with coil positioning. Uh, and this is one of the coolest features of the RDA to me. Uh, this is a coil wrapping jig to make sure that uh, the coils are, the legs are both cut to the same length and at the right angle uh, to, to uh, install easily in this deck. So as you can see, these edges here are at a, at a certain angle uh, to make it easier. So I'm going to be using um, hex core wire, three millimeters and five wraps. You just kind of lay it down inside this jig, insert it through so that it's trapped, and then bend the legs over to be at the right angle. And then cut to the edge there. So that is really nice to have something that helps you always cut the, the legs to the right length uh, and be at the right angle to install easily in here. So as you can see they're now bent and I just kind of set them, set the coil in here and rotate it and now it's ready uh, to be fastened down. You can put this jig in and rest on those notches to get the coil positioning right. And then just tighten down your legs. So as you can see, I've got it here now totally in the center uh, it's really kind of foolproof to get a perfect installation on there. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go through the dry fire really fast and wick it up and get it set up on the squonk.
Okay, uh, I did the dry fire on my 250 color, uh, the DNA 250 color, uh, and now I've got it put on to uh, the dot squonk here, and I'll put the battery in. Uh, this is uh, an unregulated uh, single 18650 squonk. Uh, and I'm going to be using Kindle Gold on this. Uh, wicking is not really a big concern. It's super easy, uh, like most RDAs. I uh, just kind of stuff them down in there. And let's test out the squonk. Seems to work pretty effectively. And I'll go on and put a little bit of juice on the top of the coil so I can go on and test it. Kindle Gold always needs a little bit of heat uh, to help the juice soak in. Might be a little bit oversaturated, but it should be okay. Uh, you just line up your airflow, and you can adjust that a little bit to change the amount of airflow. All right, let's give it a try. On the fresh uh, squonking and I just dripped on it, um, the, since the coil is so close to your mouth, there's, there's some spit back in there. Uh, that's just kind of how it is with most RDAs. Uh, this one, it can be really heavy on there if you're not careful. If you put too much juice on there, you can you can get a mouthful of juice. Uh, the airflow is pretty generous for a single coil. Uh, it has a real smooth airflow, and you can you can tell. Um, that the airflow is hitting the coil at the right spot because of the way that the coil is positioned in there. Uh, it's kind of hitting that bottom half, which is what I prefer on, on direct air stuff. Uh, this is right around about 0 0.19, 0 0.2 for the coil. Um, with the single battery unregulated, uh, the ramp up is really quick and it, it works really well. Uh, for the flavor on this RDA, um, single coil isn't really my thing in the past. Uh, the Pixie, it was okay, but not really my personal preference. Uh, I, I feel like the last single coil RDA that I liked was the Hadley, and that, that was quite a while ago. Uh, the flavor on this RDA, though, is, is actually really, really good. Uh, it has that, that heat and density, and, and that's probably because you're so close to the coil. Um, but it has the heat and density that I really like from my big 30 millimeter dual coil kind of setups. So it really emulates that effect really well, um, but with a single coil. I just re squonked there, it worked fine. Uh, I don't. I don't really squonk too much, but I, I feel like I'm going to too more often with this setup because it works so well. Uh, the the flavor on this it, it really is um, at where I get with dual coils, or a little bit better than most dual coils. So I'm really enjoying uh, the overall vape on that, and uh, that's at a much lower wattage and kind of output and everything, but it doesn't feel that way. Yeah, so I, I have nothing but good things to say about uh, the flavor and performance on this. Um, just a couple little things that I, I'm not really a big fan of. 
uh, aesthetically, that's completely subjective, but uh, to me, not not a huge fan of the way that this atomizer looks. Uh, just as aesthetically, it's not really my thing. Um, having this kind of uh, tapered angle does make it easier to take the top cap off, but uh, not really for me. That's, that's completely my opinion, though. Um, On to something a little bit less subjective is that it's made out of anodized aluminum. Uh, I would prefer for it to be made out of stainless steel. Uh, aluminum is, is just uh, cheaper, easier to damage uh, than stainless steel. But uh, it's not a huge deal. It doesn't really affect the performance, performance that much. Or uh, it doesn't affect the performance at all, but uh, it, it is a con to me. I think probably one of the best things about this RDA uh, is this jig. Um, the way that that uh, the way that that's set up um, makes it super duper easy to get the coils to the right length, uh, get them bent to the right angle, and it makes coil installation pretty much uh, foolproof. You can be totally new to building and get that perfectly right. Uh, I really like that and I wish more RDAs came with that, especially the ones with postless decks and kind of weird decks that you need to figure out the best way to do uh, an installation on to kind of have a learning curve. So uh, it makes it super duper easy and foolproof and I think that that whole setup is awesome. Uh, and I'm going to go on and try uh, the acrylic top on there. I like the Ultim tip on there better than uh, the anodized aluminum one, but still aesthetically not really my thing. I, I think overall it's, it's a really awesome single coil RDA. If you like single coil RDAs, then uh, without a doubt check it out. I, I don't use a ton of single coil RDAs, but the ones that I've used are not nearly the, in the same level as far as flavor and performance and also not in the same level uh, as far as ease of build. I haven't used any RDA, uh, single coil RDA, that's as easy to build on as this one with the jig and all of that. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're into squonking or you like the single coil RDAs. Really the flavor is top notch and I'm kind of a a convert to the whole single coil squonk thing with this setup. It's not going to totally replace my my, D, my DNA setups with the big coils or anything, but it is a really good alternative uh, with a, a single battery squonk in there. Super easy to carry around. Uh, yeah, it's just it's pretty cool. Uh, so I think that'll bring us to the end of this video about the 22 millimeter dot RDA single coil by Dot Mod. If you like this review on our channel, give us a like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments or send me an email. And also, I'd like to hear what you guys think. I'm still experimenting with uh, the new camera setup and new angles and stuff like that. So uh, for my subscribers that have been watching me for a while, let me know what you guys think about uh, the new setup and how it's working. Thanks.